Hello friends, my name is Pastor Elijah Amodo. I want to sincerely welcome you today as we continue sharing on our series Kingdom Strategies for Winning in Hard Times. Kingdom Strategies for Winning in Hard Times. And I believe God that today God is going to bless you. God is going to empower you. God is going to strengthen you. You know, a learning, a learner will always lead. A learner will always have more opportunities and there's no end to learning in life i believe god that as we add more to what we know today god will set us on higher pedestal in the precious name of our lord jesus christ priority as kingdom key for winning in hard times priority hallelujah what is priority priority is the ability to establish something in order of importance or urgency and according to the law of priority, the law of priority simply means first thing first. Ability to put first thing first. You are able to arrange your life, arrange your business, arrange your family, arrange your needs in the order of importance or urgency. This one comes first, this one comes second, this one comes third. Bible speaking in Matthew's Gospel chapter number 6 in verse number 33. Jesus speaking to them, he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Jesus was simply showing them the law of priority. That what thing comes first, comes second, come, comes third, and so on and so forth. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Priority is very, very important because most, 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 most of the time, you discover that, especially in hard times, you discover that some people are combat around. They are worried. They are combat around uh, by, by so many things. So many things. Their their minds, their their, their their minds are filled up with so many worries, so many anxieties, so many plans, so many steps to take, and they don't even know which one comes first, which one comes second, and everything is 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 now is is now tied together. And confusion at times sets in, and mistakes also follow. And I believe God that you need to understand this, especially in hard times. In life, there are things that are urgent or important and urgent. There are some other things that are important, but they are not urgent. There are some other things that are not important and they are not urgent. You must understand what is important in your life and what is urgent in your life and learning how to take steps, adequate and accurate steps to deal with, to sort them out. The law of priority. It is very, very, very crucial. It makes me remember quickly when Jesus entered the house of Martha. You know, the Bible says that matter was combat around by so many things, running around, running to the kitchen, trying to do so many things at the same time. But Mary, the sister, simply sat down at the feet of Jesus who received the word of God. And when he saw that the sister was not running around the way she was running around, she had to report the sister to Jesus. Say, Jesus, don't you care that I'm the one combat around, running around for everything? Bid my sister, tell my sister to join me. Jesus had to call call her out matter matter you are combat around you are worried there's so many things in your mind there's so many things on your head there's so many things you 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 you've decided to put on your shoulder you are carrying you see it marry your sister has chosen the right path he has chosen the good path and that is the part of sitting down to listening to the word of god mary understood priority she understood that the word of life has come you understood that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. She sat down to receive the word of God. Why matter was combat around. And you see a lot of people, especially in hard times, are combat around. They're trying to get this done for the family, try to get this done in the office, try to get this done in the in the in the in the in in, in, the, in, in, in their businesses. And and as a result of that, you just discover that they don't know which one comes first. Which one comes second? Which one comes first? Third. I want to let you know that priority is very, very important, especially in hard times. I must wake up and know what am I doing first? What am I doing second? What am I doing third? Just look at our world today. Some people wake up in the morning. Some people wake up in the morning. The first thing they go to is breaking news. And I often say that if you concentrate so much on breaking news, breaking news will break you down because most of the breaking news, 99 or more percent of the breaking news they are all negative news and when you concentrate on the negative you can't have the positive you know but as a child of god 
You know, one of the things you need to do when you get up in the morning is to first of all thank God. Pray if you believe in prayers. Thank God for the new day. Pray. Commit your day into the hands of God. Read the word of God. Have a quiet time. Then set out what and what. Even your activities for the day. Which one comes first? Which one comes second? Which one comes third? You cannot just take what is supposed to be maybe later in the day to begin your day. No. You should know which one am I going to do as I step out of the house today. Which one is going to come second? Which one is going to come third? So that at the end of the day, you look back and see that you have achieved something worthwhile in the, in, in, the, in the day. And also in the week, and also in the month, and also in the year. Now listen to me, and listen to me very well. Success. Success is not accidental. Failure is not accidental. Success does not jump on anybody. And failure does not jump on anybody. Failure or success, or success or, or failure, they are as a result of what habits that have been formed. It is, it, the habit one has formed over time, what you do again and again repeatedly, that, 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 those are habits. Success habits are formed. Failure habits are formed. And in the formation of this habit, we need to understand the law of priority. What comes first? What comes second? What comes third? As, as you are listening to me today, you need to begin to check your time, check your activities. Well, how do I organize my day? How do I organize my week? How do I organize my, my, my mood? Do I just wake up and anything I want, I do? Listen to me. If you set the law of priority, one of the things that priority will help you do is to help you manage your time. It will help you manage your time. It will help you manage and distribute your resources very well when you, when you set priority. It will help you manage your time. It will help you distribute and manage your resources very well. Priority will help you deploy your energy well. To help you deploy your energy in the right place, you know, and 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 and, and energy is 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 is, is a is, is very important um, a resource for a a high f flyer for a leader. Every leader cherishes his energy, and where you put your energy will determine the result you have. If you put your energy in the wrong place, get ready for the wrong result. When you put your energy in the right place, get ready for the right result. But priority will help you know where to invest your energy per time. Where you put in your energy. What will priority do? Priority will build confidence in you and help you to take charge. When you are a man of priority, it helps you what? It helps you take charge. Take charge of situation. You are not confused. You don't say, I don't know what to do. At every juncture, you know what to do. You sit down, you are, you, you, you are calculative, you know what to do, you know the next step to take, you know. What does priority do? Priority will always help you to make progress. When you see priority, you see progress. When you see priority, you see progress. Anywhere there is chaos, anywhere there is confusion, progress also is affected. Some people are stagnated today because they don't know the next thing to do. They don't know the first thing to do. They don't know the last thing to do. Praise the Lord. I believe God that as you begin to set priorities in your life, no matter the hard times, things gradually will begin to fall into shape in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What does priority do? Priority helps you live an orderly life, an organized life. When your life is orderly and is organized, you see that you become, I mean, fruitfulness will follow. Anytime you are, you are, your life is orderly and is organized, you discover that fruitfulness is a nursing fruitfulness is inevitable where there's a priority is set in place beloved i believe god i believe god that this day that as we begin to live a life of priority begin to set priority in your business set priority in your family set priority in your health set priority in your time set priority in your career in everything you do you don't just wake up and jump into matters i believe that as you begin to set priorities and begin to walk in that manner you begin to see that everything around you begin to I mean, begin to take shape, begin to take, begin to get established in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, I'm going to pray for you today. Wherever you are, I believe God that confusion comes to an end in your life. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my friends, I pray for my brothers, that in the name of Jesus, every confusion dies today. Every confusion disappears today. I pray that you receive grace and the ability to begin to, to set your life in, 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 in order. You begin to walk in priority. Set your priorities aright in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you begin to set priorities aright, I see you. I see your life improving. I see things turning around in the midst of hard times. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
I stand here to declare today that you are too connected to be frustrated. You are too loaded to fail. You are too inspired to give up. You are too talented to suffer. You are too, you are too seedful not to be fruitful. You are too anointed not to be needed. You are too blessed to be cursed. You are too surrounded to surrender. You are too defended to be defeated. You are too empowered to be subdued. You are too intelligent to be sidelined. You are too knowledgeable to be forgotten. May the Lord bless you. See you at the top. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.